Hey guys, it's Eric from Team Rec here. Coming at you with another deck profile. Um, I got first place at my store championship on Saturday. Took home the sweet uh, first place uh, gold medal. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, as you can probably see, I did this with a Snake Eye deck. It's a Snake Eye Fire King deck. Uh, if you came here for innovation, you're probably in the wrong places, but figured I'd show off uh, what I played. Uh, the day went really well. Uh, I got shifted about like 12 times, but other than that, uh, yeah, it was fun. I uh, went 5-0. and oh. uh, I just had to play the mirror once in the finals against my uh, teammate Chris. Uh, but yeah, great day all in all. I'll just jump right into the deck profile, just doing this very quickly before work. Um, Snake Eye Engine was pretty standard for like the Fire King build. This is like two Witch, Flamberge, two Populous, Oak, three Ash. I uh, only had two Bonfire for the event. So you'll see I just have some like filler non engine. So I guess the engine, yeah, wasn't as consistent as it could be, but that's okay. Uh, Triple Wanted. Uh, this helped me play through Shifter like a ton. I'm glad I made the field spell. It also just gives you such an advantage um, against the Fire King decks that um, aren't playing it in their main. Two Kirin, Garunix, Sarbata, Ponix, uh, Island and Sanctuary. And then I also played uh, Circle. Really cool card. Helps you play under Nib when you want to kill them. So you can just do your summons in uh, battle phase. You can get uh, a lot of damage, especially if you're uh, destroying like the Flamberge and then you trigger Grunix and have those level one bodies plus the thing you bring out um, in battle. So I thought that card was pretty clutch. Won me the finals. Uh, Non-engine, three Ash, three Nib, three Droll, two Valor, Three Imperm. I didn't go like all out on Valor. I just didn't want to be like super weak with my hands to Shifter. I realized I probably shouldn't have just played around the card. Like it was already a bad matchup to begin with. But I didn't mind this uh, like suite of hand traps. It was pretty good. Um, what I've noticed is like the power creep of the format um, really puts you on having to pair your hand traps. So often what I was doing. I would just um, troll or imperm them, make them play nib. Uh, Ash was, of course, really good against Rogue. Yeah, I didn't uh, mess with like Moonlit or anything like that in the main. And then the last four slots, just non engine stuff. Uh, called by. Great going first or second, especially in the mirror. It's decent uh, going second, just taking out threats. They set up in the graveyard. Uh, Econ, which should just be another bonfire, realistically. But, um, yeah, card performed really well. Just, it's like a Swiss Army knife. It just outs a lot of different uh, scenarios. Like, you know, you're staring down a Maguska, or you need to push for damage. Or, you know, just taking your opponent's monsters, especially in the mirror, is crazy. And talents. Like, they have to interact with you. You're always getting interacted with. Um, so, yeah. It's like the non-engine card of the format, in my opinion. Uh, extra. Two Princess. You need this to grind. You need the second Princess for the crackback. And, of course, like, post-side, if you get soul released, you need to have something to come back. It's just, like, the craziest extender for your deck. Amblo. Uh, I see a lot of people cutting this, and I can see why. Um, it's not crazy. Like, that first um, turn setup is pretty cool, but I was just um, off as, often doing the um, Unicorn uh, Anima combo to bounce back my island, and I would just end on, like, Apo Arvada, stuff like that. Uh, Zelantis, OTK. Yeah, no... Explanation needed there. Apo. Unicorn, of course. 
like I said, heat soul, sunlight, card's insane. Just gets you follow up while you're setting up. Hita, and then dark of course, SP, IP, uh, Link Freebone Anima. Anima is awesome, like for that, uh, I just call it the Lucas Sacro combo, but I don't know if he made it, but I was doing that all day when I could. Um, and then people are always sleeping on Anima zones. Not always, but you'll catch people. Uh, that's it for the extra side. Uh, I just wanted two bestials, just as like filler. Um, these are really good bodies. Um, like even for breaking boards, it's it's awesome. Like you're link climbing with this, or you tribute this off econ, you're getting a lot of um, residual advantage there. And you can search flambers with the uh, magnumut, which is pretty sweet. Uh, triple bell. Uh, this just goes crazy against lab branded. Uh, the mirror, obviously. Um, if you're super disciplined in the mirror, you can just hold this to like certain choke points and that puts them on pretty low resources if you can deal with their setup uh dogwood it's just our equivalent of max c i guess like you put them on the uh the challenge of um committing special summons yeah like you can obviously like shotgun this draw phase and see if they pass or you can just um use it reactively and net yourself some life points that way so you can hang in the game because like the whole point of this deck is just survive because your crack back is going to be pretty crazy. Two Cyclone. I didn't think three was necessary. I also didn't think I was playing a lot of mirrors. I also just wanted um, access to Cyclone because I'm also playing cross out. So I would just side uh, like a copy going first so I can protect my island. Um, if I didn't need, like, if I had to leave it on the board. I also played an evenly and a shifter. So... Uh, like cross out allowed me to really be flexible with my uh, side deck. I didn't have to play like going first like Solemns or like cards like that to protect me. I just kind of pivoted off this card and used one ofs to free up some space. Um, really cool. I used this on an evenly against me when I had to play against Flu. Um, I thought that was pretty good because I just wasn't getting hand trapped during my first turn, but I just still put it in anyway. Uh, shifter of course um, probably best way to deal with it if you have to is just cross out it uh, yeah draw the out basically right uh, but that's the deck um, hope you enjoyed if you have any comments or anything just drop it down below always happy to discuss stay tuned for more content we are going to uh, winnipeg regionals in a couple weeks so yeah hopefully we'll have some more uh, profiles for you then but for now peace out